Fire Emblem Three Houses is a great game, but why do our characters level the way they do? How do the growth rates work? Why do we sometimes gain one stat during a level up, but other times we get a whopping seven? Well, it's not totally random. In fact, there is a system to this madness, and I'm gonna explain it. This is Growth Rates Explained. Growth rates in Fire Emblem refer to the percent chance of gaining a stat, and there are a few things to consider when determining this percentage. The first thing we need to figure out is the character's growth rate, the other is class growth rate. Each character in Fire Emblem is preset up to be good and bad at different things, and classes are preset up to rise and decrease these very same stats as well. In the description, I'm linking to a website I often use for most of my information, but specifically, I'm linking to the character and class growth rates. They are shown as percent values. The way this works is you take the character's natural percentage and add or subtract the class they are during the level up. This will give you a total percent chance a character will gain a stat in the category when leveling up. So why is this important, you might be asking? Well this means that if you're in a low tier class while leveling up, you will be sacrificing your percent gains. So even though you don't need to be, say, a master class during a simple battle, you will actually be losing potential stats by doing so. What this information tells us is that we should be evolving into the next stage of class as soon as we are able, so we don't miss out on these stat gains. The second reason this matters is we can determine who would be good at what, based on the type of stat growth they have. If a character has a high chance to gain magic, we know they would make a strong mage, but the reverse is also true. Even though every character can be any class, that doesn't mean every character will be good at every class. So despite the fact that we have more freedom of choice in Fire Emblem Three Houses, we still have to consider things like growth rates, budding talents, and passive abilities before making a decision on what we want our character to be. This also means that if you decide to create a mage with one of your characters and decide halfway through the game to make them something completely different, say an archer, well even if that character has the growth rate potential to be an archer and a mage, naturally, the stats will not convert over because we're an archer now, not a mage. You will still have more magic and less relevant stats to an archer like speed or dexterity, which for all intents and purposes gimps out the character. The last thing I want to mention is something I've noticed during my time reversals in game. Although our stat gains will not be altered by reversing time all on their own, it seems as though if we do things differently the stats are recalculated somehow. This means that, let's say I kill an enemy archer and gain a level with two stat gains, one in strength, one in defense for example, but I reverse time and instead attack the warrior this time, well, it seems as though the stats actually change. So even if a reset while doing the exact same thing will not let me manipulate my stats, doing things differently enough in battle will. I have no idea how this works, or if it could be replicated easily. It's just something I noticed. So with that being said, I think it's worth looking into this a little bit more. So if anyone wants to test this out for me, on their end so I have a larger data sample size, that would be great. Just let me know in the comments what your experience is when manipulating your stat gains. I'm planning on releasing information like this for the next few weeks, so stay tuned to the channel if this sort of thing interests you. Also, don't forget to check out my last upload on gaining weapon proficiency. I kid you not, you can get an S plus during the first three or so battles of your entire playthrough. If there is anything you guys want to know about Fire Emblem Three Houses, make sure you let me know that too. That way I know what sort of information you guys want next. See you in the next one.